up guys? This is a story about a deer that we have sheds to that had absolutely unbelievable potential. As a two year old, he was mid 120s, we call him Soway Junior, and Devin finds his sheds first. Here it is. I knew down here would be pretty good. It's been really hot recently. And these deer gotta get some water. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know exactly what deer this is. Oh my gosh. This buck we call So White Junior, I think. Dude, you didn't even pick him up yet? Yeah. Right by the pond. So cool. Side by side. All right. I saw from right on, up top there, I looked down. We saw this buck a bunch of times. Call him So White Jr. Great two and a half year old deer. First 15 minutes. Fast forward to the next year. Awesome deer, we were guessing 150s, but he was young and definitely not on the hit list as a three year old. So we actually went out for an, uh, a late season bow hunt. So we wake up in the morning, get to minus 14 and we're like, I'm not going out. All of us were like, it's just too cold this morning. So we decided to sit the morning out, go upstairs to eat breakfast and the sun's coming up and all we have is buck after buck after buck coming out over the hill right by the house. It's amazing. So you'll hear us talking in the video and we're all excited and we're all watching this 110 that is just amazing looking. We're just like, we're watching I'm like, man, check that thing out. He is awesome. And you'll hear Shay say in the video, man, can you imagine if he puts another 20 inches on? What about 30? And he put on more than that. That's when we thought. There's so another eight coming down. Yeah, is that the eight? There's nope, there's one, two, three. Nope, that's not him. I can see better blue guys if you're Alright, the two that are fighting, is that what is what are the two that are fighting? That the big one? Wow. There. That might be the eight. The one that just pushed him away. Wow. Pushed the, the eight just pushed the ten off. Yeah, that's probably the eight. The eight that was fighting. Dad, he's got some kickers on his base. You see that? Yep. He is gonna be a giant next year. Put twenty inches on him. He could do 30 inches. Yo. Yo, are you sure that's not So White Jr.? Like, are you sure we didn't get him wrong on the other yeah, deal? I'm wondering. I think he looks a lot like So White Jr. What are you saying? Like, if this is So White Jr., then the other buck's different? Yeah, the other buck might be different. I don't know. Because it looks just like him, man. As a three year old. The end of his main beam is so thick. I don't know what's going on with it. Is it broken? Yeah, you, you chipped at the end of his main beam. Just tell me, I, I want to find those antlers so bad. Look at them. And here in the video, Shay said, man, I'd love to find that deer's sheds. And the funny thing is, where Tony finds one of those sheds is exactly where that deer walked that day that we watched him. So he just found a big one. Found it 100 yards outside the house. <laughs> it's just, I mean, this is what I came to Kansas for. All this character, big long beams. I know they're bigger out here, but man, that is my biggest shed. So excited to find it right here in the homestead. So cool. Coming up on the old hedgerow, coming back, and I see tines up in the grass. Oh, yeah. 
That's nice. Oh, yes, it's the other side of that 10. This is the, the other half of what Tony found. This is the one I was trying to find. Sweet. Why you don't give up, Groucho? We already walked this farm a bunch of times. And we came back, we found the other half of the one we've been trying to find in six inches of grass. We drove by it a million times. A nice four point side and a little guy. Nice way to wrap it up. As a two year old, mid 120s. As a three year old, mid 150s. For the next year, he's back. He's four and a half and he's absolutely blew up again from mid 150s to over 200 as a four year old. Um, normally they like to let them get to five and a half, but after they get over 200 inches, it's game on for pretty much anybody that's around there. This buck gets killed on a neighboring farm by a guy named John Massey. John's already killed, I think, five 200 inch deer. The guy's a beast when it comes to shooting giant bucks. So he kills his deer. Here's a couple pictures of him. And that's the story of a deer that we called Soway Jr. They called special, and he was special.